12 rounds, Bantamweights, 118, downtown LA. Here we go. <laughs> Do not go to the refrigerator, I'm telling you right now. It's going to be a war. This ring is tiny, and if it goes 12 rounds, I assure you it will join the other candidates for fight of the year. 17-foot ring. Perez says that he loves to fight southpaw. As a matter of fact, he's never lost to a southpaw. 1-0 as a pro and 8-0 as an amateur. Big left hand by D'Artagnan. Backs up Perez. Yeah, that overhand, that overhand left did hurt Yanni Perez, and he's still on wobbly legs right now. So the next few minutes of this round yep. will be very uh, interesting to see. Yanni Perez coming out in a very, much more timid way than he said he was going to. And if you're going to box against Darchinian, you better fight taller and you better land counter punches. Darchinian saying, once he feels my power, oh, this will be a short night. Nice right by Perez. Nice left hook by Perez. Yanni Perez, the former IBF Bantamweight champion, losing his last fight to Joseph Becco And Antonio, as he told us, he was a step slow on everything. Yeah, it looked like timing was his issue in that fight. Uh, but, you know, he let his hands go. But the timing is very important. Because if you can't time a guy coming in, how is your counterpunching going to be effective? So far in this fight, Yanni Perez has thrown very wide looping punches. That is, doesn't serve him well against Darchinian. Especially Darchinian with a very good left uppercut. And another thing, you got an orthodox fighter going against a southpaw. You see Yanni Perez is not fighting for foot leverage. He's not moving away from Darchinian's power. He's shifting to the right, just drifting to the right where Darchinian can land that left hand. Darchinian. The former WBA, WBC, and IBF, 115-pound world champion. Oh, another good looping left hook by Darchinian. He follows it up with a two-punch combination. Vic's got great energy to start this fight. True to his word, he is looking for a knockout. Yeah, with a hand, Vic. Well, that body shot bent Darchinian over right there. Yes. Nice short sweep. Straight left hand by Darchinian. What an active first round. These two, Al, you talked about urgency, and they're showing it from the very beginning. Angelo Hyder, the trainer for Vic Darginian. As we start the second round, Darginian in the black and gold. Yanni Perez, the Colombian, in the red and gold. And some heavy punches landed in the first round by the smaller Vic Darginian. And Perez is, oh, not on the yes, that is called an octagon. Yeah, that was a slick uppercut that Darginian caught Yanni Perez with right on the button. Uppercut. second round. Yanni Perez better land something to stop Vic Darchinian and better do it soon. Darchinian is a great closer. Straight left hand. He measures him with this jab. It's more of a measuring stick than it is an effective punch. Oh, another great uppercut. Wobbles Perez. He's got right now, but he has to move and he has to hold when he's just taking punishment on the ropes like that, Al. Yeah, no movement from Yanni Perez. He, he really looked stale in the first couple of rounds. He's got to get through this if he's going to stay in here at all. Perez said he was going to go forward, but he's been backing up since the beginning. He's taking some big shots. Darchini to the body. Now he goes upstairs. The right hand for Perez could be a stop. He just needs to throw that punch just to slow the 
momentum of Darchinian. Perez looks like he can't pull the trigger. Darchinian again. Right hand now. Great right hook by Darchinian. A minute to go. It's important that Darchinian, a guy that knows how to box right now, he has his opponent hurt. It's time for him to use his skill now because those punches are not being deceptive enough to hurt Yanni Perez or get him out of there. It's a good point. Perez, amazingly, you talked about the resilience, and he has great resilience. He's been hurt in fights before and hung in there. Perez looks like he's cleared his head as he makes Darchinian miss, slipping off the ropes. The uppercut effective for Vic as well so far. Yeah. Oh, he gets him again with an uppercut. That backs him up. That hurts him. Now the body. Four punch, five punch combination. And Perez tries to hold him up. And again. Vic Darchinian is all business. By Vic Darchinian quickly off the stool across the ring. Victor Chini with a different trainer, Angelo Hyder working with him. Uh, Vaz uh, Babadian, usually his trainer, but he spent the whole time in Australia training with um, Angelo. And I'll tell you what, so far it's looking pretty good for him. That's what Yanni needs to do more of. Yeah. He has to let his hands go right now. by Darchinian as you take a look at the punch stats. Well, clearly the power punch is a big edge to Darchinian. And a great connect percentage as well for him. Darchinian pawing with the jab. Left hook landing on the top of the head for Yanni Perez. Now looping right hand gets through. Couple of good right hands. Hey guys, guess what? Yeah. Yanni Perez is still here. <laughs> <laughs> now Perez moving forward. Darchinian with the left hand of the body. See, now he's backing Darchinian up, though. That's with what Perez wanted to do in the, from the beginning. And he's landing his overhand right, yeah. surprisingly. Well, he's got the length and reach to do it. And I'll tell you what, guys, Vic Darchinian has extended a lot of energy in those first early rounds. Let's see if he's in the type of condition that he says he is. Yep. Now Darchinian moving his hands, putting together a combination and scoring. And the body work has not been done yet by Perez. That's some, there's a right hand downstairs. That's something Mares was able to do very effectively against Darchinian and when he pushed him back. Best round so far for Yanni Perez. Yeah, and some off balance uh, by Darchinian. So his technique is going south on him a little bit here, but still he's wailing away. And this is the problem that uh, Vic Darchinian's had in the past. He fights terrifically for three, four yes. rounds, and then he takes rounds off, and he wonders why the opponent gets back in the fight. One thing about Yanni Perez, he's showing that he has a chin. Darchinian! Oh. He's blasting away now, Darchinian, and landing those left hands. But as Antonio mentioned, expending a lot of energy, Darchinian breathing out of his mouth. It's a great round here in round three. Beginning all Perez and Darchinian coming back in the last minute. What's on the line, Al, for these two men? Well, we said they need to get two losses in a row in this world of boxing. Not good for you. Virginia backing up Perez, left hand gets through, and that's the end of the third. Tough to beat. Vic Darchinian, Yanni Perez fighting for the vacant IBO Bantamweight title. And although it is a fringe title, Al, titles do mean something for fighters. Yeah, they do, and they'd like to collect them. And most important is that whoever wins this fight will put himself on track for a major title shot soon, almost right away. Straight right hand landing for Yanni Perez in the red and gold from Colombia. Vic Darchinian in the black and gold. Born and raised in Armenia, moved to Australia, where he makes his home now. 
Yanni Perez has been in shootouts in almost all of his last four fights. Against Silence Mabuza, twice against Agbeko, also against Mares. It, at some point, that has to take a toll on you as well. Oh, nice little uppercut by Perez. Yeah, and I saw one thing. That I saw uh, Victor Chini pretty much throw an arm punch for the second time, yeah. and he pushed Yanni after he threw that punch. Had no power on it. Yeah, and, and Perez is landing some powerful right hands right now. This man has that real ebb and flow to it. Oh, oh beautiful three-punch combination by Darchinian. And then he goes to the body and backs Perez up. You know, Dick Darchinian doesn't knock people out at 118. And he just doesn't. And uh, that could be a factor in this fight. He's hit Perez with his biggest punches like that one. Oh, boy, now he's in trouble, Perez. Yeah, that punch had a little delayed reaction. It really yeah. rocked Yanni. He could still be hurt right now. Yanni Perez, a former infantryman in the Colombian military. He started his career late, yep. but it didn't take him long after an illustrious amateur career in Colombia to really get things going and get in title contention. These two men have, have over 300 amateur fights up between them. There, it's amazing. Less than a minute to go, the fourth round scheduled for 12. Vic Darchinian and Yanni Perez, 118 pounds. That's a band of weight division. You know, you know, Antonio, body work by Perez now would be very valuable if we think he's fighting a fighter that's maybe not, you know, starting to re hit the wall a little bit or could at some point yeah, in this you're fight. You're absolutely right, Alan. I think uh, Perez has landed some good shots, but I still give these rounds to Vic because he's yes. been a little busy landing a bigger shot. No oh. question. He landed. A left hand right on Perez's chin, backs him up, 18 seconds to go. Darchinian, the heavier puncher, straight left hand, looping left hand, chopping left hand for Vic Darchinian. Oh, what's keeping Perez up? Hard. Yeah. 